What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Yahi from Children of Israel out here, back again with another video on Breakdown. So I'm really upset with myself. I had to pull the video down, unfortunately. It wasn't YouTube this time. It was me. I left out some very important information that I think you guys will appreciate. I forgot to put it in. I had my notes on me. I just forgot to put it in and insert it. So I'm doing the video over gonna man up and do it over and just add the information hopefully you guys will receive it um that's it as i previously mentioned in the first video it's not a matter of if nipsey D death is a hoax or not what matters is what can you learn from it what does it have to do with you okay what is the ceremony that's being ran? A lot of people say, oh, it's a PSYOP or, uh, you know, the government wants to control us. It's a little bigger than that, actually. Um, it's definitely a spiritual warfare. Definitely a spiritual warfare. We know that the elites leave trails, numbers, sounds, colors inside of all the fake news because they run the same ceremonies over and over. It doesn't have to be fake. It can actually be a blood sacrifice or orchestrated chaos. We know that earlier uh, this year, T.I.'s sister Precious had a shirt on, said Hustle 32. And we know that Nipsey's uh, jersey read number 32, LeBron James jersey. Now, that may seem very small to a few individuals, but if you've been doing these breakdowns for a while, then you know. You know some something crazy going on. Okay, let me ask you this. Who's really dead? Is Tupac dead? Is Michael Jackson dead? Is Prince dead? Is Elvis dead? Like I said before, is your baby daddy dead? You don't know. You probably want him dead. <laughs> All sacrifices are linked. Colors, numbers, and sound. Never forget that. That's how you conduct a proper ceremony. Watch this. Precious Harris dead on February the 22nd. Nipsey dead on March 31st. One month and 29 days apart. Two plus nine equals 11. Also, 29 equals 9-11. The dates they give you, 22nd and 31st, add up to 4 plus 3 equals 7. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Now, the 22nd and 31st are very unique. All the logos or the letters uh, for the teams and championship add up to 22. And the number 3 and the number 1 C played. And if you add the two numbers together, you get 53 and 35. Guess what? 35 equals deception. Virginia wins. Okay, now watch this. Precious in the Dramatria calculator, you get the what? The 711 symbolism, 47. Nipsey, you get 74 and, 9 and 29, which is 911, 711. But the word deceive equals 53 and 35. Virginia equals 53. And that's why you always hear me say uh, 35 and 53 equals deception. Okay? Nipsey went to see Texas Tech. The Red Raiders, predetermined loss. Okay? Texas Tech and the Dramatria calculator, 33. Nipsey died at 33. Now, I'm pretty sure some Dramatria people probably figured this out. All right? Nothing new. Maybe to some. Now, check out these patterns. This is something I figured out. And maybe somebody else figured it out also, but this hit home with me. All the dates between all the sacrifices, um, especially the major sacrifices, Add up to codes, numbers like 9, 11, 7, um, 23, 32. So it is all chaos codes inside of all the sacrifices and the killings. Okay? You just count the days in between. It's codes in between them. Janice Freeman and Frida Foreman. Janice, March 2nd. Frida, March 9th. That's 2 and 9, right? 2 and 9 equals 9, 11. Or... Um, 2 plus 9 equals 11. It was 7 days apart, so you got your 7 11 and your 9 11. You follow me? It's codes in between the dates. So you really don't need your calculator, you know, unless you want to use it. Just go with the numbers and count the days and apply the code. Janice Freeman and Nipsey Hustle, March 2nd, March 31st. 29 days apart or 9 11. All right? That second equals 2, 31st equals 3 and 4. So you get 23 and 42 or you can say 23 and 24 but watch this you put janice in a calculator you get 42 and 24 so this is just confirmation that hey i'm finding codes in between these numbers Frida foreman to nipsey hustle march 9th 
March 31st. 9th equals 9, 31st equals 3 and 4. So you get 3, 9, 39, and 49. 22 days, 3 weeks, and 1 day. That's the same code that you just got with the NCAA tournament. All right? Everybody's 22 and 31, number 3 seed and number 1 seed play in the championship. So let's put freedom in the calculator. What we get? 39 and 30. <laughs> okay? And this is connecting to Nipsey. So when people say it's not orchestrated, they're crazy. Cliff Dixon and Nipsey Hussle, March 21st, March 31st. 21st, 2 and 3, 31st, 3 and 4. You can get 23 and 34. 23 equals rob America, Star Wars, and get out. 34 equals 3 4s or 4 4 4. four. Chaos and judgment. 34 equals NCAA championship score. Virginia 85, Texas Tech 77. That's 13 to 14. That's 3 4s. Put Nipsey in, what do you get? Three fours. 34. Okay? It's an undeniable duality ceremony. Undeniable. Ain't no way in the world this was not a duality ceremony. Nipsey Hussle was killed 11 days before his funeral, April 11th. Detectives confirmed the suspect, Eric Holder, not 29, was in custody April 2nd, nine days before Nipsey's funeral, April 11th. Remember, Nipsey Hussle was killed nine days after us premiered March 29th. That was your, that was your point of reference. Detectives confirmed the suspect, Eric Holder, 29, was in custody April 2nd, 11 days after us premiered March 22nd. Okay? So it's all about that point of reference it just I mean for somebody to say it wasn't a orchestrated event nah man you got to take another look at this something ain't right and this this blew my mind I had to take the video down to show you guys this okay this may not seem like a lot to most but I lost some sleep I need some coffee or tea somebody buy me something now watch this I had to post this I like man I got to do this thing over let you take a look at this real quick. I know that pose. Personally, <laughs> I know that pose. That's your inter apprentice. All right? All right? In due form. Okay? So either that's a great job at photo editing, photo editing, or Nipsey's a Mason. Period. Period. And that's Father Time. And I'm going to explain that pose to you too. Because that ceremony was ran with the 9 11 Towers. Twin Towers. Okay? All right? The Weeping Widow. Um, Father Time in back of her. Uh, untangling her hair. Broken column in the front. Showing um, how quick life can get cut down. You got time on the steps next to his foot. Which symbolizes time marches on. Man, look. I know this stuff, man. <laughs> okay? And the dates on his flyer. Both sides come out to the same numbers. 9-11. You got 7 11, 8 11, 9 11. Some ain't right. Now, I had a young lady I went to school with, really gorgeous person. She said she knew him. She grew up with him. No need for her to lie, right? But maybe he just went another way. Emperor Haile Selassie, one of his descendants. There's rumor on the internet that he's one of the descendants of um, Selassie. Now, that ain't saying much for me because I know I read up on uh, Selassie a lot. And I'm telling you, you know, same pose. As a matter of fact, he probably did the, made him do the pose on purpose to mimic his grandfather or something. I don't know. But yeah, Selassie was a brother. I mean, all the signs are there. He hung out with Churchill and Churchill was a big time Freemason and bragged about it. You know, and he was a great friend of Aleister Crowley. Hollywood pedophilia uh, rings he used to run. Okay, and I told you before, uh, Albert Pike stated um, the organization uses false explanations and misinterpretations of its symbols to mislead those who deserve only to be misled. Who deserves it? To conceal the truth, which it calls light. So they're 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 discerning who needs to be dead, who needs to live, that type of stuff. Psyop equals greater and lesser magic. Watch this. Psychological operations are operations to convey selected information indicators to audience to influence their emotions, motives, and objective reasoning. 
and ultimately the behavior of governments, organizations, groups, and individuals. Okay, I'm going to show you how PSYOPs is nothing more of just spiritual lesser magic and greater magic. It's a spiritual warfare, people. You guys are worried about the government taking your rights. They're going to take your soul. Greater and lesser magic, known also as high and low magic or collectively satanic magic, with LeVay and Satanism, designate types of belief with the term greater magic applying to ritual practice meant to... Uh, meant as psychodramatic catharsis to focus one's emotions for a specific purpose and lesser magic applied to the practice of manipulation by means of applied psychology and glamour, a while and guile. To bend an individual or situation to one's will. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay? Psyops is magic. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Is anybody out there 100% sure that this guy is not a brother or a... Uh, or anything else. Okay? I got more opinion, but you know. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't, you know. All right, now all the signs, if you ask me, yeah, man, they there. The question is, did he have something to do with his death? That's on the table for discussion. You know, that's on the table. All the signs are there, man. I'm sorry. You know, I had people cursing me out. You know, Nipsey helped the hood and all. It's like, okay, maybe he did. Numbers don't lie. I never said he did. I'm just giving you what I got. I never um, scrutinized his character. All right? I didn't defamate the gentleman. Um, look at the numbers at the top of the surveillance camera and look at the numbers involved in the funeral home. Same numbers. 15,000 attendees. That's the same amount of money Jay-Z gave uh, his daughter. 15 million, you know, all the numbers just repeat because those are the numbers need to run this ceremony. That's what I tell you guys. Now, when I looked inside that driveway, the garage, that's purposely set up to mimic a Masonic arc with a staircase over it. I had the two sides, Yorkish, Scottish. Uh, Nipsey's jersey, Cliff Dixon's age, age 32. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Scottish, Yorkish. Okay, now, what reminded me of Cliff was where um, Nipsey was killed. Right away, a bell went off in my head. Right away. Right away. Now, the area where Cliff was killed looks to me a little like where... Nipsey was supposedly killed. Now we know that Cliff's location represents the ark with the steps. So by default, they're telling you that um, Nipsey's the same thing. That's why they kept showing you Cliff's picture when he died. They kept throwing that out there. Okay? Now, the ark, the Masonic ark, represents a gate. Right? Masonry is the lower form of a higher form of uh, alchemy, which is CERN knowledge. CERNs, Stargates, portals. That's the highest form of uh, esoteric knowledge in masonry. Now, what's a marathon? In the 19th century from Marathon in Greece, the scene of a victory over the Persian 490 BC. The modern uh, marathon is said to be 22 miles. All right, he delivered a message 22 miles, all right, to Athens. Now, look at the sign up there. You see that T? You see that two? Okay, now, Queen of Heaven and Fifth Dispensation. I'm going to explain the uh, T-Mobile logo. Now, the T-Mobile logo up is two T's. That's 22. Down, it's also 22. It's two L's. Whenever I mention 22, I always tell you guys, it means New World Order Ceremony. That's what it means. New World Order Ceremony. Okay, but guess what? It doubles. It also represents Inanya, all right? Queen of Heaven. Inanya, Ishtar comes out those stargates. Chaos, okay? A quantum chaos. And the T-Mobile logo is the same logo as the Texas Tech, okay? It's the same shape picture as the picture that was on the wall in the Us movie, all right? In the vacation home. 
the NCAA championships, all right? Number three, Red Raiders versus the number one Cavaliers. Now, look at all the values of the letters and the teams that were involved in the Final Four. It's only one team that has the fifth dispensation signal in it, and that was Virginia. And that's why I told individuals, I think Virginia is going to win, okay? Because in nine years' job, Queen of Heaven is going to take us into the fifth dispensation. It's all about the fifth dispensation, okay? Now, look at all the colors, and those colors should remind you of something, because I showed you guys a lot. It's the Vortex map chart. It's the Vortex map chart. And if you look at the score, it's nothing but a duality ceremony. Look at it good. 31, 7 equals 38. 35 and 3 equals 38. All right, 13, number three, verse number one, or you can say 31. Color codes, colors, numbers you can see, all right? So all those games are rigged. If you don't believe that by now, I don't know what to tell you, man. I was in denial for a long time. I loved basketball, <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, those were the colors they gave us with Nipsey, all right? The black and red hat, the blue, and blue gloves, yellow tape. Same exact colors in the Ethiopian plane crash. Same exact colors. All right. They use the same colors over and over, people. Ethiopian flight 302, or you can say 23. Nipsey wore LeBron's 32. Lakers jersey, or you can say 23. Nipsey died March 31st. March 31st can be written as 331. Okay, now watch this. Lion Air crash March 10th. 10 divided by 3 equals 3 with a remainder of 1. So I just used the month. And divide it into the days. 3 and 31 equals 34 or 3 fours. Okay? Now, the reason I gave you the colors, people, because they never change. All right? I don't care how much you love a star or an actor. If you see those colors, it's a setup. All right? That's the Netherlands shooter. All right? I believe that's Dave East um, talking about uh, Cliff Dixon. Same colors. All right? The train shooting. Same colors. It's not going to change, people. Plain lands in Chicago. <laughs> Lakeshore Drive downtown, right? Same colors. Red, black, blue, yellow. Stronger than hate. Okay. So these people were attacked in the synagogue. A shooter came in, right? But they're stronger than hate. Yeah, okay. Um, there you go. Synagogue shooting. Look at the gentleman with the umbrella in the red. Nuclear war colors. They're letting you know who's going to cause the war. You could put that picture right under the, the um, Nipsey Hussle uh, picture. Fits perfectly. All right? And I told you guys, they represent the beast. Who's going to start the war? And look down. Same colors as the pictures with the beast. And that was at a shooting. Okay? Colors represent the nuclear weapons. Right? And the fallout shelters and all that stuff. And like I previously told you, the blue, white, black are going to use the red, yellow, and black to make the red, white, and blue lose the war to the EU and Russia. Leo and Sagittarius. Archers are Israel. Lions are Judah. All right? Lions are Judah. Never forget that. A young lady asked me about the Sagittarius Leo ceremony. Nipsey was a Leo and Lauren was Sagittarius. She said, well, how do they run the Aries Capricorn? Everything doesn't have to be perfect. It's a ceremony. The end result is everything, as I always tell you guys. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to explain the ceremony. Ezekiel 25, 14. Now, I said this verse a few times. And I will lay my vision upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord God. He always uses his people to handle his business. And, you know, a lot of people, especially uh, my friends in Christianity, they don't get it. Zechariah 9 and 13. When I have bent Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as a sword of a mighty man. And people don't understand what that means because they think that, uh, you know, Greek applies to them. Judah's a lion. Ephraim is Israel. All right? So you got the lion and the archer, you got the Leo and the Sagittarius. That's what that's about. They want to bring the martial law. 
the Zionists uh, want the tribes to come together. They like the Crips and the Bloods getting along because they want them to gang up on Americans. That's why Nipsey became both Zodiacs. And I can't make this up. That's what it's all about. They wanted that uh, gang peace. It guarantees a good chaos kill. I'm only telling you, I haven't changed my message since I've been on YouTube. Um, we know that Nipsey's the lion. For one, he's affiliated with Ethiopia and they keep throwing it in your face. And two, he's a Leo. So he represents the sun also. So in ceremony, a planet will be destroyed. Remember, that's one of the ceremonies. You have to destroy some planets. He represents the sun. And also Jupiter, he's a Sagittarius in ceremony. All right, there's a nine years pose. That's also confirming that he's the lion. And here we go with the picture from the GQ, GQ photo shoot. He's a Sagittarius. So now he's, in rep, he's representing Jupiter. And I was wondering um, about that crazy picture, but what's going on is that um, he's next to death and also he represents he's a Sagittarius. The question you need to, uh, to ask yourself is, what was the ceremonies about? What were the Nipsey ceremonies about? And the answer is, it's about you. It's about you. Everybody's looking at Nipsey. You need to look at yourself, man. All those ceremonies I told you they were going to practice, they pulled out a Nipsey situation. Riots broke out. You know, they explained how he owned a smart store, you know, um, or had business partners or whatever. Uh, media said he had issues with homophobia. So everything, right? He died at 33 like the Messiah. He represented America. You could take that and go right up to the top right there, the list I gave you implied. With the androgyny, you know, the banking, microchips, the martial law from the riots. That's it. That's why I gave you the list, man. It's a cheat sheet. I gave you list and colors. You guys should be good. That's it. Good to go. You can see it a mile away if you just use what I gave you. That list and the colors. Okay? Remember, elites are going to use any and every circumstance to bring physical new world order. Orchestrated chaos, fake news, war, famine, economic collapse, etc. Right, but that's only one half of it. That's the part the carnal people see, right? The Americans. We will we'll fight till we die and all that stuff. But it's deeper than that. Okay? Now, as I told you when I read from um, uh, the Apocrypha and other verses, it's going to be realm against realm. The most important part of new world order is them opening that CERN. The quantum new world order ceremony is called CERN, Tower of Babel, Stargate, Semiramis, Inanya, Ishtar, Queen of Heaven. All right? And the physical representation of the Queen of Heaven is the EU. All right? That's what it is. That's what the ceremonies are for, people. All right? So I'm sorry I had to uh, reload the video, but I felt you guys had to know about that flyer and those codes and those death dates. All right? Children of Israel out here, man, I love you guys. Let me go grab me something to eat. <laughs> Peace.